George W. Bush administration and professor of law at the University of Minnesota. And Charles Coleman Jr., a civil rights attorney and formal prosecutor. Thank you both for being here, Richard. I'm going to start with you. Uh, Michael Beschloss has said, and I once thought an 18 and a half minute gap was a big deal. Important to strictly enforce all existing U.S. laws requiring preservation of presidential and other federal records, essential if we want to keep our democracy. It does not seem possible for it to be coincidental, at least to me, that three agencies deleted, you know, wiped their phones and didn't think to preserve the records from January 5th and 6th. Does it seem possibly coincidental to you? Doesn't sound coincidental to me. It sounds intentional. And I will tell you exactly what I told the White House staff, and I was the uh, chief ethics lawyer in 2005 to 7 about preservation of uh, government records. It is a felony under 18 United States Code, Section 2071, uh, to engage in concealment, removal, or mutilation of any government record. Yeah. That is a felony. That is a and felony. The White House. Uh, instructs its staff, as well as the agencies, that when you leave the government, the only and messages or other communications that you can remove from the premises or destroy are your closed. personal 